I'm gonna run into the tree. Use the brakes, use the brakes, use the brakes. Oh. Bike vlogger here on my way to work. Topic of the day. Don't really have a topic of the day. How about brakes and brake squeal? Let's talk about that a little bit. Silent. I got quiet brakes now. So I had to fix them. Uh, they're getting really loud on this bike. Um, right. Doing construction here. Get on the sidewalk for a second. This will be quicker. There we go. So anyway, my uh, brakes were squealing really loud for a while. Um, there's two main things I did that fixed it. Number one was just get new brake pads. Um, usually that's the last thing you do. Um, and I had tried a lot of other things. Clean your bike, keep your bike clean, keep the braking surface clean. Um, but none of that was really working for me, so new brake pads. And then, uh, why do I go this way? Too many people. Too many people. I almost feel like I live in a major city. All these people. It's usually not this busy. It's a little after lunch on my way to work. Um, the other major thing I did was install them properly. Um, by that, I mean you want to tow in your brake pads. How do you tow in the brake pads? Well, I got rim brakes, which means... Uh, I'm only talking about rim brakes, not disc brakes. Um, you, uh, you want the leading edge of the brake pad to touch the braking surface that is the rim first. That's good, that's right. Too many cars. Da 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 dee, da 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 dee. Da 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 I get on the sidewalk here, maybe. Maybe, baby. Or not. Trying to keep it moving here. I'm getting thrown off though. With uh, trying to get to the park real quick here, then I can think a little more clearly. All right. All right. Now we're in the park. <laughs> Now I can think a lot more clearly. Are we gonna cut this segment out? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Ugh. So as you can tell, I got a new uh, camera angle, or my old camera angle, mounted on the bike again. I prefer it that way because it's not as uh, bouncy. Uh, the video is more clear because it's not so much. Uh, you know, jumping around. 
getting knocked around by my body. Uh, it's obviously also more comfortable for me because I don't have to strap the camera to my chest. So anyway, I'm tired of the day. Brakes. I don't have squeaky brakes anymore. That's basically it. Thank goodness. Thank goodness, right? That was getting very annoying in some of my past videos. So I actually went out of my way to not ride this bike because it's just so annoyingly loud. Now, squeaky brakes may actually be kind of a good thing if it weren't for the fact that squeaky brakes means something isn't set properly and not, not that it would necessarily fail on you, but uh, squeaky brake to be nice because it's kind of like a horn. You uh, slow down or you brake and it's like screech and everybody's gonna hear you. <laughs> everybody's gonna hear you from a mile away. Oh my, it's a little chilly. I got my fingerless gloves because I'm ready for summer. Ready for summer. But it's not here yet. It's not here yet. Are you sure? Yeah, it's not here yet. So, a little concerned about this video that, you know, I get halfway through my commute on my way to work and all of a sudden my brakes would start squealing again. Start making a screeching, screaming noise at me. But it's not happened yet, so that's good. So I know what I'm talking about, kind of. Kind of. It's March 2019. Less than a year away from 2020. This is kind of a big year for me because uh, later this year I'll have my five year anniversary on the YouTubes. That's kind of nice. I've been around for a while. Not a long while, but I've been around for a while. Woo. Still doing it. Still commuting to work. In the winter. Away from the sky. Okay. Alright. Okay. I just stopped on the speed hump there and made me stop completely. Arr. But I got good brakes, so that's all that matters. Whew. Boy, I cannot emphasize enough how nice brand new brake pads feel. I mean, what I tried to do is I tried to scrape them down, you know wear away the glazed portion on the pad with like some uh, grit paper. Uh, that wasn't working. <laughs> I don't know. It could have been that I wasn't installing them with that, like that uh, towing in. Which, to tow in a brake pad, all you gotta do is stick a card or a little piece of cardboard or a very thin piece of cardboard uh, underneath the back side of the pad, the uh, trailing end of the pad. I guess that would be trailing, right? No, wait. See, I get this confused because I said you should, uh, tow in the pad such that the leading edge hits first, but actually, is it the trailing? I think it's actually the trailing. In any case, hopefully I'm doing this correctly. You can correct me if I'm not, but... Hang on a second, let me just kind of explain a little better here. So, unfortunately, uh, yeah, I got this correct. So, I'm not taking the, cam the camera off the bike, but let me see. What the heck is this? What the heck is that thing? Ah, oh, I can't lift it. It looks like it's bolted the ground. Anyway, so let's use this as, a, uh, as an instructional video. How to tow on your brake pads. So if your brake pad is my finger here, and my fingernail is the, the front of the brake pad, you know, like this is the front of the bike over here. So my fingernail is pointing toward the front of the bike. 
you want the fingernail to hit the brake pad first and then this the back end hits second so to do that you stick like a card or something can you even see that you want the fingernail to touch the rim first and then the back of the finger to touch second and you stick like a credit card or something underneath there when you're holding the brake pads on the rim with the brake lever tight and then you tighten them down and so now when you release the tension you'll notice that the brake pad the fingernail edge of it is a little bit closer to the rim than the back end. Did, that exp did I explain that at all very well? I don't think so. Nobody's around though to make me feel like I'm really crazy right now screaming at the floor anyway so maybe I'll attach in a video a video on to this video at the end of the video or the beginning of the video to explain what I was trying to explain to you but it's pretty simple all you got to remember is that the fingernail portion of your finger is supposed to touch the rim before the rest of your finger so anyway Thanks for watching. Oh, no, no, no. That's, not, that's not the end of the video. Look, a tree just fell down. Woo! I'm gonna run into the tree. Use the brakes. Use the brakes. Use the brakes. Oh. Okay. Okay. This is why you need new good brakes. <laughs> ah! Ah! Someone pick up the tree. Someone pick up the tree. Pick up the tree. Oh, the sun's coming out. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, it's not gonna be so cold. I still feel really cold though. Woo! Woo! All righty then. All righty then. Oh my. <laughs> so the reason why I didn't take my camera off the bike is because I tighten it onto the bike really tight with like a little wrench. And I don't have that wrench with me, so <laughs> my uh, my camera is basically bolted onto my bike. And it can't be removed without a tool. So, eh, oh well. I was looking for the tool too because I had it in my pocket, but I couldn't figure out was it in my coat pocket, was it in my pants pocket, was it my other pants. Who knows, you lose stuff occasionally and you can't figure out, let's go left. Then you can't figure out, you know, like, what pocket was it in or where did I leave it? Where did I set it down? Losing stuff. Woo! What are we talking about? Oh uh, yeah, brakes. Yeah, so these brakes are working real nice. Uh, the brake pads are cool to stop. They're the salmon, the orange colored pads. Let's go there. It is chili. Chili dogs. Well, I know which one. I was gonna ask. Eh. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was my last video where uh, <laughs> my pedal fell off my bike. That was my last video. That was a different bike. I still haven't gotten around to figuring out exactly what happened there. <laughs> so that's why I'm riding a different bike. I'm not riding the same bike as last time. Uh, it could be the bearings needed some grease. I don't know, and they seized up or something. It has been very cold lately. But I mean, the grease, unless the grease is really old, stuff shouldn't seize up unless it's extremely cold outside or extremely cold ch uh, wind chill. So I don't know what happened with my pedal falling off. Um, go to there. Um, see, I don't know what happened, why my pedal fell off. Um, I can definitely tell you though, uh, with this bike and my other bike, that's not the bike that had the pedal fell off, I went back and I tightened my pedals on all of my bikes because I do not want that to happen again. 
whoa, man, that was, that was scary. Having a bicycle pedal fall off on you when you're riding your bike, whoo, I, I bet it's much worse when you're like going down a steep incline on a mountain biking trail or something. I can't imagine my pedal falling off in that scenario. Yikes. But yeah, in that video, uh, I was gonna go to, uh, I don't know what this guy's doing. That guy was trying to make a left into a one-way street. So I had to move out of his way. There he goes. Just scraped the bottom of his car. Good job, guy. <laughs> uh, yeah, he just cut through. Where's he going now? Oh, he just made a, he just made a U-turn. Oh no, he's gonna follow me. Uh, what was I talking about? <laughs> oh yeah, pedal falling off your bike. Well, yeah, that was a scary situation. It was a funny situation because I had my e-bike with me. Um, so I was able to throttle it all the way back home. That was kind of a unique and funny situation. Speed hump, speed hump. Oh, oh. So yeah, I'm not going through Webster Groves. I'm not going the same way I went last time. I'm not finishing that commute for this commute, maybe in the future commute. In the future sometime soon. But uh, this time I'm gonna cut to the college local college campus back here because I believe I can do that. I've already gotten off my bike multiple times so why don't we just go ahead and do it again because my understanding is it's a dead end up here but a pedestrian can get through so let's see if I'm right about that. And it looks like I am. Authorized entry only, no deliveries. Yeah, well, we're gonna cut through here. The beaten path. The beaten path. It wasn't too long ago where I did a video and uh, I was riding along this campus here and my tire went flat on me. That stunk. That was an end of a video there. <laughs> so we're just gonna cut through here to uh, Mackland or something like that and continue on our way to work today. Oh. This is a local uh, community college, commuter campus. Most people here have cars. There is no uh, light rail station nearby so most commuters here own their own car. Alright, here we go. Past the Humane Society. Water! Water, sewer cover. It's not really a sewer cover, it's water, but whatever. Ugh, ugh, ugh. I don't see a train straight ahead, so we should be able to get to the center section without any trouble. Except it's probably gonna go red by the time I get up there. And there it goes. There she goes! Oh gosh. The road's pretty bumpy. Okay, so if I can make a left up here, I will. And we'll cross uh, the train tracks. Actually, we're crossing train tracks right now. I guess those are, yeah, I get there. 
they are railroad tracks. Must be for a little train though, because those tracks aren't that big. In my ears! In my ears! Woo -wee. In my ears! Oh gosh! Okay. What is going on over here? There's another, uh, there's actually a fire truck behind me, and he is uh, continuing on that main road. But then it looks like there's another ambulance or something up here. What's are going on? That was weird. I heard a noise come from that sewer cover back there. Like there was uh, water or gas in the sewer. Alright, anyway, here's, uh, here's something going on here. <laughs> this guy's backing up. No, he's not. the fun things you see on a commute, on a bike commute, to work today. Heading into the hill neighborhood here. Woo. Went this way uh, just a couple videos ago. Dun, 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 dun. I think this time we'll just go straight. Looks like to the right it's a no outlet. Unfortunately, I ain't gotta lose a lot of my momentum. And now we climb the hill. Oh, up the hill. Woo. Up, 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 up. Make a right here. Shoo. I am a little concerned. It's winter time. And my battery might die on me. So let me switch the battery. Just a second. Drive like your kids live here. Alright, here we go. I must say, I do like these pedals. They're, uh, they got really sharp pins on them, so your feet stick to them really well, so there's no chance of slipping. But, uh, just got me thinking, though, uh, I could have been, uh, really, really torn up if, uh, when I fell off that pedal, if my shin or something hit the pedal. Uh, on the other pedal, I guess. <laughs> oh man. I still remember that. That was just so funny. I was riding my bike and I had one pedal in my frame bag. And only one pedal on a crank. Pretty funny. that guy waiting for I thought that was one way I guess I was I guess I'm not on a one-way street it was one way yeah this is a two-way street da -da -da -da. speed hump on the uphill because that makes so much sense Ugh. oh man another speed hump on the uphill what are they doing to me? Da, 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 da. I've been curious to go up that alleyway. 
let's stop completely. Now that we're all tired, let's go up the hill. Oh. 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 I don't want to jinx it. This is a surprisingly clean alleyway. It's not like any hope oh, way. <laughs> I say that and just I, and then I just pass a pile of broken glass. <laughs> Must have gotten all washed down to that point by the rain or whatever. I feel like we reached the top of a summit or something. Cobblestone. Ooh. We're just we're just mowing through this cobblestone. Ugh. Ugh. Man, they can get rid of the stop signs if, uh, if they want people to... No, I actually want to make a right. If they want people to not go fast on a residential street, just install cobblestones. Woo! I think I want to go this way. I was actually going I was actually going the opposite way of work, so that's not really what I need to be doing. I need to be getting the work here. Woo. Uh, unfortunately I gotta wait for the flight. Tick tock. I could go around this intersection. I did it last time. There's no cars here, and I don't see a spot in the road for like a wire strip. I don't know if this intersection has cameras. Oh, here we go. Alright. It might just be a timed intersection. Oh my nose. I'm not gonna make this light, I'm going too slow. Look both ways. Alright. Oh. Nose. My nose. So anyway, my brakes work, and they're quiet. So I'm all happy again. It sometimes takes some fiddling, but uh, usually it's not a big deal. If you're uh, if you're having a lot of trouble, you know, just uh, go to your local bike shop. They'll set you up. Worst case scenario. You have to get new brake pads, which, you know, that'll only cost you 10, 15 bucks for the pads. All right. Come on, our word of work.
feels wonderful out. It's uh, 45 Fahrenheit. A little bit of a wind chill. But not bad, not bad. One positive thing, unlike the summer, is I'm barely sweating right now. So that's something to look forward to in the summer. The sweating. <laughs> Oh, my nose. Well, that about does it for me. Thanks for coming along with me on this bike commute to work today. Woo! Oh, scary. We'll see you next time. What a horrible bike lane.